In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Adafruit matrix portal to your LED matrix. These are the five steps we're going to be following in this tutorial. All the links will be down in the description below so you can follow along. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have your board connected to the internet and retrieving the current price of Bitcoin. Now we have to set up our board. So first, let's take off these little plastic covers. And now we have to connect this matrix portal to the RGB matrix on the back. We're now going to screw in these screws and then connect these spade connectors to the appropriate terminal. All right, let's now power the panel. Now let's plug in this USB-C to the board and plug it into an outlet. So we'll plug it in and we should get the live SAN demo as you can see here. All right, let's now connect this board to our computer using a USB-C cable. And we have to double tap this reset button to get into the right mode. So double tap that and press allow on your computer. And now we're going to shift our focus to the computer. So here we press allow. And we get this drive on the right matrix boot. All right, first thing we're going to do is install CircuitPython. We're going to first download the latest version here. It's going to be a .uf2 file. We can just save this somewhere on our desktop. Now we already put the board in the right mode by pressing the reset button twice. So don't need to do that. Uh, what we have to do now is drag this file we just downloaded onto the matrix boots. So I'm going to do this through the terminal because when I try to drag it into the drive, it doesn't work. So I'm going to use the CP command for copy. We're going to say copy that .uf2 file and we're going to put that into volumes slash matrix boot. Which is equivalent of dragging the file onto the drive. So we'll press enter and now it's going to disconnect and create a new drive called CircuitPython and if you get that that means you did the steps correctly. So what we're going to be doing is modifying this code.py file but to do this we need to first install a couple of libraries. So go to this link here and we need to um, add the circuit Python libraries. Click on this download latest library bundle and select the proper version. Here we're using version seven. We'll get a zip file, we can unzip this. And now we're going to navigate into that 
lib folder right here. So we're going to be using the CP commands with an argument of R for folders. So say, first we need to go into that bundle and then we're going to get into that lib folder. And here we're going to use CP minus R and then pass in all these different libraries that we need. Again, we're going to be passing this into volumes circuit pi forward slash lib for the libraries folder, which is right here. Right now it's empty. So we'll press enter. And now we can see the files and folders being copied into here. All right, this is the final step. We're going to connect to the internet. First thing we need to do is create a secrets.py file on the roots of the circuit pi uh, volume. So here we're going to use Vim. You can use any text editor. And we're going to copy this code here, paste it in our file. And we're going to put in the SSID and password. I'm not going to show that here, but you're going to have the secrets file that's going to have your Wi-Fi credentials. All right, now we're going to copy this internet code and paste it into the code.py file we saw earlier. But before we do this, let's use the mu editor. You can download this easily by following this link. All right, let's open up the editor and load up the code.py file that we have. And here we're just going to paste it. And now let's go up and click on this serial button right here, which is going to connect to the actual board. And that's it. In later videos, I'm going to be demonstrating a couple of projects, but first you will need to follow these steps. That's going to do it for this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and connect with me on LinkedIn or join our Discord. All the links will be down in the description down below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Goodbye now.